How you doing, people? It's Video Hits. Fuzzy and Hayden here, hanging out with the Howling Bells this morning. Radio Wars, their awesome new album, is out right now. And I have to say, you guys, when you started out, you were slugging it out in London. And this time around, you headed over to L.A. to record this one. Yeah. Was it quite tough? Because a lot of bands that they head over to overseas, they kind of um, share a studio apartment yeah, or yeah. something or other. Was it a little bit more relaxed this time around? You got a bit more space? I live like millionaires. Oh, yeah, in the hills? Did you? Did you, you hang better out? have lived Donald in the hills. Such oh. Wait, we, we were, we're in the at Rodeo same, Drive every week. Right? No, we were in the same apartment building as the Vines because they were recording the studio next to us. Oh, wow. wow. So that was cool. really fun. That was the, Neighbors. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was They'll like a too. Australian reunion in the middle of LA. That's cool. cool. So yeah. you caught up with them? Had a, yeah. yeah, like every time we'd take a break, we'd like share talk in the court, oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was fun. So when, you know, you're trying to think of somewhere to record your album, you know, a lot of artists travel halfway around the world recording in, in you know, different locations. Why was it that you set on LA to, to, to record this album? Hmm. We wanted a really different experience this time. I mean, the first one was recorded in the middle of winter in Liverpool and it was like snowing every day and we were staying in the studio and it was too cold to even leave and... So it really affected the tone of the record. And this time, we specifically went out with something that we wanted to be way more colourful and bold and bright. and very vibrant. Yeah, and just vibrant, sonically and and visually. So, L.A. A bit of almost Andy Warhol-esque, maybe, possibly, Mm. in this. There's a lot of, like, really strange art happening in L.A. as well. Like, you turn back corners and there's little... Boutique art galleries. There is and a lot of comic underground book stores art. And yeah, there really is. Like LA's, you know. I mean, we met well, artists. It's the home of pop art. I feel mm. like yeah. it just still thrives on pop art, and even the diners you go to, which are like standard for them, and it's like normal to go to work in like a fifties apron and cap and make <laughs> cheeseburgers, and and that's like compared to where we are, it's the idea of diners and. It's really retro. You guys are on tour at the moment. Are, are you writing while while this is oh, happening? Yeah. Always writing, yeah? You yeah, don't need to be in the, the studio. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're thinking Mar- because insane, between really. the first and second record, it took us two years. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of red tape, and we changed record companies and stuff like that. So um, this time we're settled and we're just yep. ready. There's, just no, there's no bureaucracy this time. No. It's just going to be straightforward. It's just you, making the, the record. Fourth, it's great. The there's nothing in between. Let's do it the way they used to do it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like, 